Hey, this is Ant bringing you a Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the option strings in game modes to pass through variables from the main menu into a gameplay level. So I'll quickly demonstrate that using the projects I've got here. So if I hit play, um, you've got two game modes here, options, and below it you've got a text box that you can populate with um, a value. So in this one, it's number of kills uh, for this particular game. So I'm just going to type in 10, hit kill, uh, play deathmatch, and as you can see at the top, you've got kills to win 10. I'll just quickly replay that now to show you the difference. So if I change that to 5, click uh, play team deathmatch again, and you can see the kills to win are displayed at the top as being 5. So uh, we'll go into this now. For this tutorial I'm going to use a previous project that I use for my game mode select video um, as it already has all of the blueprint functionality and the widgets and I don't want to create a new project just to have to do all that again. Um, I will link that in the description below. First thing we need to do is we need to go into the widget blueprint and we need to enter an object that we can type text in. So I'm going to go into my version of this with play team deathmatch and play capture the flag and I'm just going to drag in a text box here. I'm going to make that uh, 200 by 200 and a font, I'm going to make it quite a big font, so just type 100 and then for the default text I'm going to have it as free and then just move the justification to the centre and what that allows is somebody to click on it and then uh, type using a keyboard. Next thing we need to do is we need to get whatever's in that editable text box and then pass it into the options string. So from there go into graph, make a bit of space next to that and I want the team deathmatch one at the top so what I'm going to do is get my editable text box, I'm going to drag off that, I'm going to type in get text and then what I want to do is I want to append it on this uh, input here so drag off from the string output, append and then I'll zoom in a bit closer. What I want to do is I want to add another pin. And then I'm going to connect the get text text box into the C value. So for team deathmatch, it may make more sense to have number of kills. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in question mark kills in lowercase and then I'm going to put equals. So basically on the command string that's basically setting a variable here called kills and this will be added onto this as well onto the game modes uh, string selects here drag from the append plug that into map mode and that's the widget pretty much set up so if I hit play show the text box and here we can type values obviously at the moment it does take like, uh, uh, both alpha and alphanumeric values, but we can change that later to sanitize that. But for now, that's the widget done. Now that's done, it's time to code the team deathmatch game mode to be able to read that option. So I'm going to go into the team deathmatch game mode. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in option string. And it'll get options string. And all we need to do is we need to parse that option looking for a, a particular key value. So we type in parse and parse option and we call ours kills in lowercase. So what that'll do is it'll analyze the uh, the string that was passed in to set up the game mode and it'll say okay then is this a value here called kills. What we need to do next is I'm going to clamp it into two and I want something sensible to come in. So I'm going to set between 3 and a maximum of 20. Oh, 20. And what I need now is I want a, a variable to, to use in this game mode. So I'm going to promote that to a variable. And I'm going to call that winning score. I'm going to make it private. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to connect the execute pen from here to here. Okay, so that's all ready to go, but however, we need a way of basically 
updating the widget for the characters so they know what the winning score, the winning target score is. So to do that, I'm just going to create a quick function. So function get winning score, and for that. And I get an output, which is going to be an integer, a score, and I'm going to drag in this winning store here, and I'm going to connect it to that. I'm just quickly dock that at the top, and that's ready to go. So the last part we need to do is just uh, put something on the screen to confirm that that, uh, that integer has been updated based on the option string. So the last bit of code we need is just in a new widget just to read the information from the, the game mode option string. So I'm going to right click, user interface, widget blueprints, I call it TDM, team deathmatch widget. I'm going to go into that, I'm going to drag a horizontal box, doesn't matter about the anchor points, doesn't matter. I'm going to grab two text boxes, just quickly drag them onto the horizontal box. Let's make the font bigger, and then the text field inside the running score is enter. And then for this text box, again, double the size, size 48, uh, fill it, and just put it right at the end. And then play that zero. Okay. Next thing I need to do is create a binding. So on the zero text box, click under the bind drop down, create binding. And we're going to be calling that method from the game mode to read the information. So we type in game modes for get game mode, cast to Team F, uh, BP Team Deathmatch Game Mode or GM. And select that. And as that, I'm going to get winning score, which was the function we connected before, uh, created before. And I've got the Control W that's copy it. So if, for whatever reason, if the cast fails, it'll just return zero. So if the cast fails, something's wrong. And it should be showing zero, it should be showing the value from the option string. Hit compile, and then as a last, really just a little bit more code, we need to obviously get that um, widget onto the screen. So for now, we'll just do it in the, the game mode. Get player control. Create widget, and I want my TDM widget. And then what I want to do is, Last little bit. I'm going to add that to viewports. So in the final part, we'll uh, we'll do a test on this to see if it all works and bring it all together. So now that we've done that, it's uh, time to see if it works. So I'm going to quickly go back into my main menu map, hit play, and I've got a score of three here in this box. So I'm just going to change that to five. Hit play, team deathmatch. And as you can see here, the widget's popped on screen and the winning score is five. So hit escape again, hit play, and let's change it to, let's see, 15. Hit play team deathmatch, and there you can see. Um, so it's winning score is 15, it's shown on the screen. So essentially what it's doing is, it's just rooting in the value from this editable text box here and it's just passing it onto the option string. We're pending it to the end of this option string rather. And so when the level's opened, it's passing that information through. And then on the other side, it's accessing the option string, it's passing the option kills, and it's basically getting that integer value and setting out in the winning score. So uh, that brings us to the end of the video. Um, as I say, this is a follow on from a previous one, which we'll link, but um, if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, um, please stand write in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel.